next 15 minutes can change someone's life. Yes, you heard it right. Because today we will be discussing with you the mental wellness, which about which most of people are unaware. Because they are only facing the symptoms, they don't know the reason. So let's save lives today. Let's talk more on this. Today we are discussing with you about ADSD, that means Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, 5C design for the ADSD in adults. First is, you are always late everywhere. Next is, you have trouble sitting to an entire conversation. Third is, you often leave things unfinished. And yes, ADHD is a very serious problem, problem in India because every year there are 10 million cases that are diagnosed. Many are still undiagnosed. Let's discuss what it is. So the fourth part is you are facing forgetfulness. And the fifth is again very important that you are facing time blindness. Yes, that you are facing time blindness. Now, time blindness is a thing which is making many people suffer in their lives because they are unable to know how the time is passing. So, people with ADHD tend, tend to time blind, meaning they aren't aware about the ticking of the time. So, they often struggle to use time effectively. Overcoming time blindness will automatically be helping a lot of people. So, diagnosis of ADHD in adults, the people who are oh, visiting and about the discomfort or the restlessness and uh, the physical activity of visiting can provide a temporary distraction from whatever activity they are doing. And a very important note, symptoms of inattention tend to predominate in adults with ADHD like procrastination, forgetfulness, losing things, lack of organization, and problem with jobs and relationships. So ADHD and genetics play a very crucial role. Although there are various factors also which lead to the ADHD, like toxins, like during a pregnancy of poor nutrition, smoking, alcohol use, and the genetic factor contribute to around 22% of the risk in ADSD and it was found in the study in 2018 published in Nature Genetics. And one very important thing, the children who were diagnosed with ADSD, it was found that around 51% of the mothers and 51% of the fathers of the children with ADSD received a diagnosis for the same. Now this is very important for the public interest to know what is ADHD and how they can prevent this. So let's save lives today, the prevention. So how you can prevent ADHD? Biohack your time, take control of your time, organize and manage the clutter, prioritize and action. The time blindness, the adults with ADHD, they are facing attention deficit when it comes to the time, when it comes to the passing of the time. And they are unaware and the, about how the time is passing. So it is very important to buy at the time if you are also facing the same. If you know someone who is also facing the same, you can help that become aware. Social effects, time blindness. In the workplaces, time is measured. And people who are always late can be documented and fired. And the people who have ADHD and when they are late, People think that they are purposefully late. This is not the case. Once people are aware, they can modify their lifestyles to prevent such gaps into their lifestyle, to prevent themselves from the time blindness. People who are constantly late up in the meeting, they are they are get stereotyped. And people who do not hand up their reports on time, they are no longer trusted and are thought reliable. So what generally adults with ADHD make the excuses? Forgot to write the appointment. I took too many commitments. I got distracted on the roof. I forgot my phone. 
my watch my agenda there are a lot of excuses but excuses are not the solution so what is the solution so first is buy a hack your time and there are five ways you can do that first is become a clock watcher second is plan and master the time third is enjoy the freedom that you have done that enjoy the gifts of that and the fourth is meet and beat the deadline and the fifth is punctuality so how to become clock watcher you keep a track of the clock every day in whatever work you do you are aware how much time you are going to dedicate to that work the more you are aware of the time the more you are aware aware of the time the more likely you will be able to avoid spending too much time on a task due to the hyper activity which is the reason for most of the adults with ADHD to feel the time blindness second is plan to be early and set up reminders now this is very important if you have a meeting set up a reminder 15 minutes prior and setting up reminder will help you to save the rush up to stay the last hour use timer to speed up your work and enjoy the experience of being and doing things on time okay and meet and beat the deadlines by following the three rules which we have shared with you the abcd with determination abc with determination you know what is and the fifth is punctuality make punctuality a habit follow all these a b c d with punctuality be a clock watcher plan things see is enjoy the benefits of being organized by hacking your time and the fourth one is meet and beat the deadlines next is being organized you can learn to break big tasks into the small ones and implementing the structures and the routines to follow up your organization tasks and there are five ways you can do that one is create space use list deal it with now 135 approach and save big ideas for later what is create space ask yourself what you need on daily basis and find storage bins closest to the things you don't designate specific thing areas for the key things like keys bills and other items that can easily get misplaced throw away the things that you don't need next is use list make use of list every day for the projects for the deadlines for the appointment for the regularly scheduled tasks once you have list you know what are the things that you need to do so that you don't miss out and the uh, third one is very important the whatever work which can happen within the three minutes frame just do it not right now don't keep it in your thoughts because it will make you overload just do it now and the fourth one is one three five approach break your work into one three and five into big things into medium things into five little things so that based on the time energy and the resources that you need so that you can know how you are going to do, do these things save big ideas for later so let's say you are doing some work and, a, and an idea came to you so don't act on that immediately just write it down and keep doing your current work and at the end of the day you can look those ideas and see if those were the ones in which you can act and the third one is prioritize prioritize the things break your work in the four categories you can do it now for the urgent and important you can decide when you have to do it for important but not urgent and the work which is urgent but not important you can delegate it to someone and the fourth work which is neither urgent nor important you can delete it and the fourth is very important action that is executing it most of the people have this problem not satisfying action now, action make you do the things that you always want to do and this is the fire cutting of the time fifth one is very important exercise regularly because exercise help you to help your brain to produce the neurotransmitters like dopamine and uh, 
serotonin which help you become more organized and exercise also help the bdna brain drive neuro neurotrophic factor to get produced which help you perform better at the task that you are doing the sixth one is get plenty of sleep because the adults who have adhd if they are having a lack of sleep their cognitive level decreases on the next day and this is proven by the research and play chess learn new things because it will help your neural networks in the brain to grow and once you are doing this thing it would be easy for you to adjust the new schedules to start off a new way to live by biohacking your time so this is a very important statement released by the who understanding genetic predisposition to, to, to disease and knowledge of lifestyle modification that either exacerbate the condition or lessen the potential for diseases is necessary for public to make informed choices now the people who are getting informed that they have a risk for adhd and in their life they are feeling those symptoms they have received the lifestyle modification and if you are one of those who who have such symptoms you can implement such things now it is about decoding your D- dna and biohacking your dna so that you can feel the real difference please share this with someone whom you think will get benefited wish you a great life